If you know about climate change, you probably know we need to clean up our power plants and vehicles. But a huge under-the-radar emitter is often absent from the headlines. Industrial firms produce the materials and products we rely on daily, like steel, cement, paper, and plastics. They're a key part of the economy that provides millions of well-paying jobs, but industry is also responsible for one-third of all human-caused greenhouse gas emissions. We can't solve climate change if we don't cut carbon pollution from industry. And companies that don't adapt will fall behind in the global marketplace. A new book, Zero Carbon Industry, provides a first-of-its-kind roadmap for cutting industrial greenhouse gas pollution. It's the definitive guide to the breakthrough technologies transforming the manufacturing sector and the policies needed to speed the global transition to clean industry. Some companies are beginning to show us what the future looks like. Iron and steel production emits more climate pollution than any other industry, largely because of the fossil fuels used in blast furnaces that convert iron ore to metallic iron. However, firms in Sweden have shown how this process can be done using clean hydrogen, and several steel mills have announced plans to switch to hydrogen-based steel making. And clean technologies aren't just for large factories. Small businesses can also benefit. A brewery in Colorado is replacing its dirty natural gas boiler with an industrial heat pump, a machine that uses electricity to produce hot steam. It moves heat from one place to another, like a refrigerator or air conditioner. So it uses less than half as much electricity as a typical electric boiler. Other technologies can increase energy and material efficiency, make products more durable and recyclable, convert electricity into heat for industrial processes, create zero-carbon chemicals from clean hydrogen and bioenergy, and capture and store carbon dioxide underground. Zero-carbon industry describes how all these technologies fit together to transform manufacturing. Companies can scale these new technologies quickly and profitably with the right incentives. This is where policy enters the picture. Smart policy can encourage investments in new processes and equipment. Today's fossil fuels have an unfair price advantage. Polluters aren't penalized for the damage they cause to the climate, nor the harm to people who get sick or die from pollution. Smart policy can level the playing field for clean technologies while reducing costs as they scale up. Key policies include financial incentives, research and development support, efficiency and emission standards, well-designed carbon pricing, green public procurement, and measures to ensure products are repairable and recyclable. Zero Carbon Industry explains how each policy works, when it should be used, and offers design guidelines to avoid loopholes. The book also includes a framework to ensure the transition to clean industry enhances equity, health, and prosperity for communities worldwide. Industry can be a blind spot in climate discourse, but it couldn't be more important. Fortunately, we have the tools to solve this problem. Zero Carbon Industry cuts through the complexity of the global industrial sector, demonstrating how we can cleanly manufacture all the products we rely on while investing in our technological leadership, communities, and workers. We need a clean industrial revolution. Now we have a blueprint for catalyzing this transformation and a roadmap for what lies ahead. To learn more, visit ZeroCarbonIndustry.com available wherever books are sold.